this has gone really bad all the inside of there is cracking it's just getting worse what's going on guys Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner today we're going to be doing some testing on acrylic now when you engrave it on acrylic you get different types of acrylic when it comes uh, this one has come with like a, a blue-ish film like a clear plastic film on the top so what I'm doing now is I'm going to be testing some of the ways that people suggest and swear by to do your engraving onto acrylic and I'm going to come up with the results and I'm going to see which one's the best and we're going to use that one. So the first one is I'm just going to leave as it is and I'm just going to leave the plastic film on there and engrave straight over the top see how that turns out. The second one I'm going to take the plastic film off and then leave that and just engrave with unprotected surface. The third one just got some standard masking tape which people were saying to use. Uh, you can get wider masking tape to bit cover larger areas so if that works well I'll order some of the wider ones. This one uh, I'm going to take this film off and people say just use dish soap. I've got some cheap dish soap here. Uh, just rub a really thin film over the top of that. Now when you engrave that stops any of the residue from coming back down onto there and marking that. The next one uh, they say to clean it afterwards with soapy water and a clean cloth. So that's this one. And then the last one people are saying use denatured alcohol. At the minute I can't get denatured alcohol so I'm going for the next best thing which is this sanitizer that I use. Uh, it's 80% alcohol and believe me it is 80% alcohol because this thing binds every tiny little cut on your hands. As a bonus I'll do an extra one and I'll show you what not to use which is white spirits. The reason you don't use white spirits is because it'll start cracking and it'll look horrible. The same with acetone, don't use acetone on there either because you get the same kind of cracking and bubbling and it doesn't turn out right at all. So I'll get these set up, I'll go over and I'll engrave them, we'll come back and we'll see how well it turns out. Alright guys, so we're set up ready to go, so this is the one with the original film on. This is the one with no film and I'm not going to put anything on there and I'm not going to clean it or anything. This is the masked one. Um, my masking tape wasn't quite thick enough to cover the whole thing. So that's an extra little test that I want to be doing to see if there's any difference between just one layer and where they overlap. Whether that makes any difference to the engraving underneath. Um, because if not then I could just use like a local supply of this stuff which is quite cheap for me to be fair. And then overlap it as little as I can. Uh, like I say I've gone over the top there but we're going to see if that makes any difference. This is the washing up liquid and I don't know if you can see that but I've got a nice thin layer on there just ready to go. So these two are going to be, one's going to be cleaned with washing up liquid, one's going to be cleaned with the alcohol and then obviously this one is the one that's going to have white spirits put on there and show you what happens when you use white spirits or acetone. So let's go over to the engraver, we'll get these all engraved and we'll get started. Okay guys, so while those are engraving, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's subscribed so far. We just hit 500 subscribers today. I think currently while I'm editing this video we're at 502 subscribers. So thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far. If you haven't subscribed so far, please consider doing so. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really happy with every single subscriber that I get because it just shows that there's one more person that's interested in everything that I am doing. And if you like these videos, please just give them a quick thumbs up because it does help me out a lot. It shows my videos to more people that way. So again, thank you to everybody. I just want to give a special thank you to Low Vision UK, Terry's View. That is the only person so far that has bought me a beer uh, so I want to say a massive, massive thank you to you. I'm currently having a beer, it's over on my desk while I'm editing, so thank you for that. It does mean a lot and hopefully uh, I can help some more people and they can say thank you in the same way. Uh, as always, there'll be a link down to that down below where you can buy me a beer just to say thank you for the content I'm creating. If I've helped you, then that would mean so much to me. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then just leave a comment down below just saying that I have helped you and it, or just leave a tip or a different view on how I do things. It means a lot 
and it helps my channel grow and I will forever be grateful to everybody that does. So with that being said, let's get back into the video and you can see the results of these tests and I think you'll be quite surprised. Alright guys, so these are all engraved. I uh, just put my logo on there. So this is the plastic coating on the top just as it comes. Because I did this as a deep engraving. Um, if you can see that's fairly deep in there really. It's not just a surface engraved. It's turned out okay. Um, so we're going to see about peeling this top cover off. This is just the material with the top cover off. And as you can see there's all this misting. So that's the whole issue that you get when taking the top cover off. So when you try and get rid of this mist, it just doesn't go anywhere really. It just stays on the surface. And even if you use kind of damp hands, it, it's it's there all the time and you get that little misting. And you can even feel it. So that's no good for making moulds or anything like that, which is what these are going to be for. So this is the masked one. So we're going to see... The difference between peeling this one off and peeling that one off and from what I can see it doesn't really make a difference doesn't make a difference at all where it doubles to where it is single this is the dish soap on the top um, you can see the dish soap there it's kind of shiny ish uh, so I'm going to wipe this off just with a dry cloth because if I introduce water then it's basically just cleaning it with soap and water. This is the one I will be cleaning with soap and water so that's just the same result as this one. This is the one I'm going to be cleaning with the alcohol so that's those three are basically the same results and this is the one that we're basically going to destroy with the white spirits. I'm going to try peeling this one off first we're just going to go through them in order. Try peeling this one off first and we'll see how long it takes so we'll start now that took just over a minute to peel this one off it's not a particularly detailed design and more detailed designs it gets a bit more of a pain in the backside when you're doing smaller things and that's turned out pretty well so let's see what the masking tape's like and how long that takes to peel off so we'll start that now took around a minute as well uh, but this has left some residue right down there there's some glue from the masking tape transferred that you can still see so there's this one with the plastic that was on there originally there's no residue at all so that's perfectly fine so between these two actually the, the plastic it comes with is winning so we'll get a, a nice clean dry cloth now and we'll wipe off this I'm not going to use the soap that I'm going to the cloth that I'm going to dip into the soapy water, I'm just going to use this rag cloth. So I'll give that a wipe off. We'll see how that did. That still has some bits and pieces down here. Maybe I didn't put it on thick enough, uh, but it seems like it's kind of reacted with the layer that was there and these bits just aren't coming off at all they're deeply engraved in there you can feel it I can kind of scratch it maybe a little bit of water would help so let's try that now the water's not helping either So protecting it with soap doesn't leave that great of a finish. Now we're going to try the soapy water just on this one here. So 
I'll give this a wipe down. I see it's quite bubbly. There's quite a decent amount of soap in there to give it the best chance possible. And I can still feel the surface is rough through the cloth, so I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. Again, not great. Still see all the mist in there. And you can kind of feel it if you scrub, mate, that, that might help. But the whole idea of this is to get the best and quickest results, the easiest way. Not even really scrubbing at that, unless you're scrubbing with a nail doesn't make a difference. Let's get to the dry side of this cloth now and we're going to use the alcohol spray. I say it's suggested to use denatured alcohol but this is 80% alcohol um, so we'll give that a go. So we're going to give that a little bit of a spray so it's nice and saturated and then we're going to give it a wipe over. Just let this dry out. That one turned out really nice. But, we are getting some cracks across here. Which is a no-no. We don't want cracks. We'll try again with this one. I'll put, I'll just spray the cloth and wipe it over gently. But those cracks are starting to get a little bit bigger. I'm going to show you the white spirits on this one. Uh, again, I'm just going to use this rag. I just tipped a little bit of white spirits on there so it's damp, it's not soaked. And we're just going to wipe over. <laughs> Yeah, still got the bits there of residue that haven't cleaned off properly. So, again, that one's no good. Strangely enough, just leaving the plastic coating on and peeling that off has been the best result. The masking tape gave a good result, but like I say, you've got the residue here, which you'd have to then clean off, and it took just as long as the plastic to peel off. The washing up liquid, or dish soap, that left some good results, but again, there's still some of that residue around that doesn't clean off. Uh, even with my nail, that doesn't clean off at all. The soap and water, that, that's just that's probably the worst result it didn't even really clean anything off that was just basically like leaving it plain the alcohol has left some really bad cracks in there you can see them really clear now they've grown quite a bit and there is some misting around the cracks so that's no good and the white spirits I was kind of surprised with uh, but you're still getting the residue on there so from my testing just leave the plastic on. That seems to be the best option. You get a really nice engrave, uh, and it just looks smoothest. It takes just as long as a masking tape, but the masking tape left some residue. If you had some low tack masking tape, maybe, but again, it's still taking just as long to take that one off. So I hope you found this useful, guys. Uh, I know I did. I was quite surprised that the alcohol give such a bad reaction to that. Uh, I know that acetone and white spirits are supposed to give that reaction. I was quite surprised that the white spirits didn't do that reaction. But as you saw, the methods that people suggest not really that great. Just, just leave the plastic cover on the top, engrave it that way and then peel it off. If you are struggling with the plastic stuff, Another way that you can get it off easier is to use uh, a hairdryer or a heat gun and a plastic scraper. Don't use metal because you'll scratch up the surface. Use a plastic scraper and some heat and then it'll come off nice and easy.
thanks for watching guys if this was helpful to you then please give it a thumbs up let me know down below what you use to engrave on acrylic and protect it the best methods that you do and uh, if we get enough of those methods I'll give those ones a test in the next video don't forget to subscribe so you can see more tests like this I will hopefully do in a lot more in the future this has gone really bad all the inside of there is cracking it's just getting worse don't use alcohol guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.